I'm going to get into a little fantasy here because we will have Jamar Chase on the show. We won't have Tyler Boyd, I don't think. We're going to have Orlando Brown, and I have a feeling he's going to tell me that Joe Mixon's going to be a top five running back. But what about T. Higgins? Let's put the contract stuff aside. This is a player who is a safe option for your fantasy squad. And, of course, he's a value because he always is. He's the 13th receiver off the board right behind Chris Olave, okay? He's going in the third round on average. Based off what we've seen, there's so much upside, and I think there's so much potential with Higgins that we have not seen yet. Let me explain why. Consistent production, if you look at the numbers uh, on the board here. But if you dig in at these stats you're looking at, 2020, he loses Burrow halfway through the season, okay? 2021, he misses three games due to injury, still somehow hits that 1,000-yard mark. Then last year, he misses two full games with injury, hit some exit in the first quarter. Then, you know, we lost out in the third game because of that whole Bill Schmills situation. Still, though, puts up over 1,000 yards and sets a new career high, six, six, seven touchdowns that year. Why does this matter? Well, because the floor with T. Higgins, as far as his production is concerned, is super safe and it's super high. But it also underscores the fact that we haven't seen a full unmessed with season out of T. Higgins. And now I think the improved O-line plays into his skill set. Yes, I do think it's improved. And I'm going to get into that. And I think Orlando Brown will tell me the same thing. Uh, You know, Burrow will get back. Hopefully he can hold on to the ball a little longer. That's the goal for me and this team this year. Um, So I see a career year for T. Higgins. I don't know what's going on with the money of it all. I will say I think uh, as an outsider, as a fan, he's handling it well. I don't see much national stomping of his feet. Logan Wilson got paid. He quote tweeted and said, attaboy. I'm happy for you. He sort of knows what the situation is. We'll see how it unfolds, of course. But I would be shocked if he did not finish as a wide receiver one.